Hello guys, welcome back to my channel VFX Expert. So guys, in the today's class, we are going to see lens distortion workflow inside Synthize. And also we will see how to export UD plate or undistorted plate from Synthize. So let's start the class here. So now we are inside Synthize. So first we have to import our sort. Then simply we have to click on file. Then new. And just we have to select your sort. So this is our sort here. So just we have to select the starting frame here. Now just we have to click on open. Then after this from this drop down just we have to select your required frame rate. So here just I have selected the 25 fps. Now just we have to click on ok. So now just I have imported over this sort inside synthize and just we have to play and just we have to check. So this is our sort here. Then after this we have to try cover this sort. So inside this summary tab just we have to click on this big auto button here. So this will automatically track your sort and also this will solve your camera. So now we are inside the solver tab here and this is our camera solve here. And left side this is our camera solve error which is 3.45. I think this is too much here. So now just we have to improve our camera solve. So for this simply just we have to click on track. Then clean up trackers. Then we have to check these bad frames and we have to click on fix. Then after this inside this automatic drop down just we have to select this refine then we have to click on go. Now just you can see this improvements here. Now this camera solve error which is 0 0.42. Now I think this is sufficient and also this is acceptable because this is below 1 pixels. So just you have to make this error below 1 pixels. So first till here just we have to save our project. Then we have to click on file then save so inside this folder just i am going to save this project now just we have to click on save so just we have to play and just we have to check so this is our camera solve here so now here inside this sort also just i am going to calculate our lens distortion because if you will see inside this sort this little bit edge bend here so this is due to lens distortion here so now for calculating our lens distortion inside synthize so inside this solver tab bottom side you will get this calc distortions options here so simply just we have to check this one then we have to again refine over this camera solve here now just we have to click on this go so now here just type calculate over this lens distortion and this is our distortion value here even if you want you can also just manually adjust this value or just you can click on this more then you can also check this quadric distortions here now first just i am going to check over the distortion here then for this simply just we have to click on this lens tab so now just you can see this bend here so i think little bit just bend just i am getting here so just you can see this one here so now again come inside this solve tab then also just i am going to check over this quadric distortion here so this is totally depends on your sort for this one just I am also going to check this quadric distortion here. Now again just we have to refine our camera. So simply just we have to click on go. So now this is actually new distortions value here. Now again just come inside this lens. Now just you can see this one here. But remember this one still just I am getting this distorted plate here. But this grid little bit now is bended here. So just you can see and this is our lens grid here. Now just you can play and just you can match maybe this line so if you match this one now i think this is just matching here so now suppose if you want to check this uh, undistorted plate then for this simply from this layout just we can select this perspective then we can click on this lock so through this camera view now if you will see just inside this perspective view and through this camera view so, so just we can also see our actually undistorted plate inside this camera view only so now just click on this pan 2d so now here if you will see so now just you can see so just i am getting this actually undistorted plate and these pixel which is just going outside from over this border so these are actually over scan frame size so just you can see this one here all these things here and this is actually undistorted plate so just you can see this one even suppose if you want to compare with your original plate 
then from this layout just you can select this one here whichever this camera and perspective so now just you can see this one and this ever again distorted plate and just so now just we can compare this one here so this is a little bit bended here now this is straight here now just you can see this one okay so now again just come inside this perspective view so easily just we can see all these things here so now here just i have also adjusted about this lens distortion here so now after the just i am going to see this scene orientation and if there is any requirement then we will also manage about this scene orientation all these things here so for this come inside this 3d tab then just select this quad perspective here so just you can see this one a little bit just i am going to adjust about the scene orientation so for this first we have to check our all these ground points here so synthesize by default actually so now if we will select maybe this quad view so just you can see each little bit some points in different color means synthesize will automatically sometime assign some points as a ground points so now just you can see this one even if you want to go to this coordinates so you will see all these constraint points here even if you want you can manually just define your ground plane according to a requirement so for this first we have to unconstrain all these points now press ctrl a then right click on these points then go to these coordinates then unconstrain all these points here now there is no any constraint points here now just manually just you can select your point and just you can orient your scene according to your selected points here so now just i am going to select some points which is on over this ground so simply just with this lasso tool just you can select all these points which is on over this ground so this is actually manual selections here so this is actually manual process here now here just i have selected then just you can change this color so you just we can find our ground points now just you can see all these points here now this is actually on about this uh, this grid here uh, from this view you can also see but if there is any requirement then simply just you can take this move tool then you can check this hole and just you can manage all these things here now press ctrl z here so now again just come inside this quad perspective view so little bit just we have to just adjust this scene orientation here so for this come inside the top view and just take this rotation tool and just little bit just i am going to adjust this one here so you can also see uh, from this actually camera view here now again take this move tool and just shift this in entire scene maybe at this point here so little bit i think still so just you can take this rotate tool and just you can manage all these things here now just we can play and just we can check and depending things that you can adjust according to a requirement here but little bit just i have oriented over this scene so little bit just we have to move this entire scene on this ground here based on these selections here so maybe according to these points here but remember this one actually this ground is not flat maybe i think this portion is a little bit down rather than this portion here so carefully just we have to check all these things here but now i think this is sufficient here then after we just come inside this quad view and just we have to play and just we can check all these things here so now after this just i am going to just create a test geometry so so first layer just save as our project then click on file then save as and just define version 2 here so now for test geometry just i am going to create earthlings then we have to check this band here and simply just we can create a this character earthlings character here then we can take this move tool and check this hole so just we can move over this character where you want to place so this is just only for testing purpose so remember this one this character just we have to place on over this ground so just we have to select this character then this y value just we have to make it zero now just we have to play and just we have to check through this camera view just we can play and just we can check now just you can see this one here so now i think this is looking good here then after this first area just save our project 
now finally after this just i am going to apply distortion on our this plate because still just i am getting this distorted plate here okay so now just you can see this one here so for this again come inside this solve tab so bottom side just you will get this lens workflow options here so simply just we have to click here then just we have to check this option redistorted here second number option just we have to select so this will apply distortion on our this plate here now just we have to click on ok and one more things now you are getting this distortion value here but after applying this distortion on our this plate this will not show you here okay so remember this one here so before applying this value whatever you want to change in distortion then you can change after applying this one no need to change this distortion value so now just we have to select this one redistorted now just we have to press ok so now you will see now this value is showing zero here because this has applied distortion on over this plate so now just you can see this one here so just you can see this over scan frame size so just you can see all these things here even now if you will go to this lens tab so here also just i am getting these things here so just you can see this one even you can also select this camera view so now just i am getting this straight grid here and this is our over scan frame size plate here now just you can see so just i am getting all pixels here inside this over scan frame size here okay now just you can see these things here and just simply just we can play and just check all the things just you can check now again come inside the 3d and just simply just we can play and just we can check so now in all view just i am getting this undistorted plate now just you can see these things here so like this simply just you can apply distortion on your plate then after this just i am going to export over this camera track and also undistorted plate or ud plate from synthize so first just i am going to export our camera track for maya then simply we have to click on file then export then go to this older then select this maya as key scene original and just select your folder so now just come inside this main sort folder here then you can give your file name so any name just you can give then we have to click on save then from this just you have to select your starting frame so here just i have defined this zero based on my image sequence then order rotation just we have to select x y g then we have to press ok so now here just i have exported about this camera track for maya same as you can also export for other packages like blender this python so now after the just i am going to also export our ud plate so for this just we have to come inside this summary tab then bottom side you will get this save sequence options here so just we have to click on save sequence then you have to select your folder where you want to save this uh, undistorted plate so just we have to click here so inside this main folder then just i am going to create a new folder which is a ud plate then inside this folder just you can give your file name but remember this one here here just you have to give a proper file name with your starting frame so now just i am going to define it here so how we can define so again just come inside this main folder and just we have to check this sort folder first then from this list just we have to select this png because actually my image sequence is in png format so just you can see this is actually starting frame here lens underscore sort dot zero 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 one so just we have to select this one so this will automatically take this one here select actually our main ud plate folder remember this one so this is our actually file name now which is start from zero then save as now just you can select maybe jpg or png so in which format you want to export your ud plate so now just i want to export my ud plate in jpg format so just we have to check this one here now just we have to click on save then finally we have to click on start so this will just create a ud plate with over scan frame size now just we have to click on start now just i've created my ud plate now suppose if you want to check then simply just you can open your folder and just you can check so now just open this ud plate folder so just i am getting this ud plate with over scan frame size here so now after this just i am going to see how we can import over this camera track inside maya and how to use ud plate inside maya 
so now we are inside maya so first we have to import our camera track so simply we have to click on file open scene and just select our folder so this is your main sort folder which is your synthize folder this is your folder and this is your file which just i have exported from synthize so just we have to select and just we have to click on open don't save so now just type import over this camera drag inside synthize and simply just we can click on this panel and just we can select this camera we have now just you can see this one here inside this maya now just time actually using this original plate which are actually distorted plate so we have to replace this plate with our undistorted plate so simply in this outliner just we have to open over this main synthize group then we have to select this camera then inside this attribute editor click on this camera plane and just i am going to replace this file here then we have to click here and just select your ud plate so this is our ud plate which just i have exported from synthize so just we have to select the starting frame here then we have to click on open then we have to click on use image sequence now here just i properly linked up this ud plate or undistorted plate here inside maya now just we can play and just we can check then after this just we can create any geometry and just we can place into this scene here so now just testing purpose just i am going to create a geometry so just create any geometry now press w d and v now press v and just we can snap maybe at any points here where you want to place this geometry this is just only for testing purpose now just we can play and just we can check so just you can see this one here even if one you can just also just create a ground here then just you can take this plane and just we can scale this one here now come inside this camera view now press 4 4 means wireframe mode and just simply just you can check all these things here now just you can see then after this you can import any uh, object and just you can place into this scene inside maya and remaining scene orientation even scene scale all these things just you can adjust inside maya so for this i have already created many videos so link i have given in description simply just you can play and just you can check so now again come inside synthize so guys till here i have completed over this class let's distortion workflow inside synthize so guys if you like this video please watch share comment and subscribe my channel if you are still not subscribe my channel so thanks for watching